I have a confession. Yes. I am a little bit lazy just by nature. I'd much rather be outside or on a lake or a beach than at my computer. I'm completely disorganized on top of that. And as a freelancer and independent professional, I've never had anybody looking over my shoulder to make sure I get all my work done in time. Yet, I've had an incredibly successful career so far. So how do I manage to get everything done? In this video, I'm gonna give you my best time management secrets. And my name's Henry Bingaman. I've been a highly paid freelancer since 2008. Today, I make videos like these to help freelancers like you make more money and have an easier life. Now, I'll admit that during the first part of my freelance career, I didn't manage my time well at all. And I used to tell people I enjoyed working till 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. because it was quiet and nobody bothered you. But looking back, most of those all-nighters were because I procrastinated so long, I really had no other choice. So as I got older and had more obligations, it just became impossible to work all night. So I had to figure something out. And what I ended up with is incredibly simple, but highly effective. Now, for this to work, you're gonna need a whiteboard and a timer. You can also use a whiteboard app, but I prefer a real whiteboard for reasons you'll see soon. And as far as a timer goes, you can just use your phone. Now here's the plan, and it's incredibly simple. Divide your whiteboard into four columns. All the way on the left is a column labeled year, then month, then week, then day. The year has all your big goals on it, $100,000 in income, 12 new clients, whatever's a big goal for you. The month is a little more moderate, it's more mid-range goals, your week is more urgent, and the day is your daily task list. The reason I like having it all on the same whiteboard is because you can look at the whole thing like one big funnel. Are your daily tasks helping you accomplish your weekly goals? Are your weekly goals keeping you on track for your monthly goals? Are your monthly goals moving fast enough to get you to your annual goals? It's all right in front of you. You can see exactly where you're going right or where you're going wrong. Then there's only one efficient way to get through your workday, time blocking. Now I prefer 33 minutes because one of the best copywriters of all time used 33 minutes, Gene Schwartz, but it's a great time period. It's not so long that you burn out and it's not so short that you can't get enough done. And 33 discourages you from trying to fit it cleanly into a day because you're not waiting till the exact half hour to start a new time block. So it keeps things random enough that you actually have to wait for the timer. What you wanna do from there is pick the number of time blocks in a day. 10 is a pretty reasonable number. 10 33 minute blocks of work in a day is five and a half hours of productive working time. You can do 15, 16, 17 blocks if you have a lot more things to get done. Honestly, I used to work very, very long days. I just don't anymore. It's too much time. But I guarantee that these days I'm actually way more productive in my five and a half hours than most people are in two eight hour days in a cubicle type employed job. So the first work block of every day, I set my schedule for the day. Now, some people like setting tomorrow's schedule as the last time block of the previous day. So you don't have to wake up and think about it. I don't like doing this just because part of me setting up my schedule for the day involves looking at my email to see if there's something urgent. And sometimes you just wake up feeling energized about a project. And so you wanna have the flexibility to move that around. Then the way I prefer to do work is to do the smallest and easiest tasks first. A lot of times that's as simple as writing an email or scheduling an appointment or paying a bill, something like that. This kind of stuff can be a pain in the butt, but if you check off three items from a six or seven item daily checklist, the first thing in a day, it just feels good. It feels like you're making a lot of progress. It gives you momentum going into the day. Even if it's the bigger projects later on, you can see the finish line. Then I like to take 10, 15 minute break between each block, reset my brain, maybe go out, walk the dog, spend a little time in nature if it's not too freezing cold up in the mountains where I live. Just make sure I'm not working too hard and burning out. If I have something that takes an hour, say it's a podcast interview that I'm doing or a phone call, that's fine. I just stick together two blocks. Then I take maybe 15 or 20 minutes off before the next time block starts. Now, the reason time blocking works is because of Parkinson's law, the old idea that the work expands or shrinks to fit the time that you have allotted to do it. Now, Parkinson's law is not a perfect theory. If I told you I need you to finish this project that you would normally take three days for and I need it done in five minutes, that's just not realistic but it might be very true that you can get it done in 15 time blocks as opposed to the 20 time blocks that you would normally have set aside for it. Parkinson's law is a good thing to remember because if you give yourself too much time, the project will expand to fill it up. So I really think you should give time blocking a shot if you haven't already try it out, give it at least two weeks. It can be a little uncomfortable at first getting used to it. But the thing that really has been with me forever is that whiteboard. It's a productivity hack. You always see in front of you what you have to get done. And the nice thing about erasing the day and then replacing the week weekly and the month monthly is that you're constantly making progress. You have the chance to edit your goals. That can be up or down. Say you have an income goal of $50,000 for a year and it's August and you're already at $48,000. Well, you're gonna need to adjust that goal. On the other hand, 
If you launch a new side hustle business and you just got bogged down with client work and it's now December, you can keep it on your list for the next year, but don't overwhelm yourself. That is not the point of this. The point is to make sure that every day you're looking at your goals and writing out your daily tasks to make sure you get something done every day. All right, time blocking and whiteboarding, two great tools for a freelance career. You want five more great tools? I have a report called Five Free Tools that make even brand new freelancers look like seasoned pros. You can go to henrybing.co slash free tools to download it. It will make you more productive. There's productivity tools in there. There's a lot of other cool tools that you'll learn. Just make you look like a pro with clients. Other than that, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.